Eighty viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange of British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Now, I've been doing these HMV um, sample records or introducing records, and I've run out. <laughs> There's been a mishap in the motor house, and I've lost the box with them in. So we will continue with the Columbia Not for Sale records, introducing Columbia records for January 1932, parts one and two. Uh, BX01. I've got 39 of these viewers, so we will continue until I can get out to the motor house tomorrow and find some more. Here we of the HMV, and then we will interchange between them. Here we go. May I submit a few of the gems from our interesting Columbia records for January? Here is the band of His Majesty's Grenadier Guards in their two-part record of the Zampa Overture. Note the brilliant fullness of the brass. That is Columbia number DX308. As long as music lasts, the name of Dame Clara Butt will stand as Britain's Queen of Song. She is singing an old gospel hymn which happened to be her father's favourite. Where is my wandering boy tonight? That is Columbia number PB9. PB9. It is solely due to Mr. Lionel Turtis that the viola is today recognized as a solo instrument. Here you have it at its richest in an air you know, Liszt's Liebestraum. The record is Columbia number DX. Three, one, three. Now, I want to give you a suggestion of what we believe to be the most magnificent choral recording yet produced. An Easter processional by the King's Own Choir in the St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle and conducted by Sir Walter Davies. <laughs> recording is Columbia number DX 316. Here is a new treatment of the favorite London Derry air played as an oboe solo by Leon Goosens, who can without doubt be regarded as the virtuoso among the world's oboe players. of this is Columbia DB691. Now we have the latest descriptive work of Albert Cotelby, composer of In a Monastery Garden. It is called The Vision of Fuji-san, a legend of the holy mountain of Japan, and it is played by Reginald Fort on the organ of the Regal Cinema London. is a 12-inch record with another descriptive work by Cotelby on the reverse side. And the number is Columbia DX315. Everybody loves the melodies of Rose Marie, the first of the series of great musical shows at Drury Lane Theatre. And this is a new recording of a selection from the play conducted by Mr. Herman Fink who actually conducted during the entire run of Rosemary at Drury Lane. That is on Columbia number DX 30. 
9. There are still a number of interesting excerpts from the new Columbia records on the other side. If you'll kindly wait one moment, please. Oh, I thought he was going to change the record himself there, viewers. No, that's my job. Here we go. Right, got to have a job, haven't we, occasionally? Here we go. Now listen to the famous J.H. Squire Celeste Octet in their latest little orchestral gem, the popular Hearts and Flowers Intermezzo. You noticed the brilliance of tone and the finished playing of what has been called our finest miniature orchestra. That is a half crown Columbia number DB690. The selection now playing is the beautiful Strauss waltz, Tales from the Vienna Woods, sung, as in the case of the Blue Danube, by the BBC Wireless Chorus. There are now four of these vocal waltzes, and they are selling in thousands. number of that record is Columbia DB694. For another novelty, let me introduce Eddie Peabody, happily described as the world's wizard of the banjo. Listen. You can almost see his fingers flying over the strings, and it is certain you have never heard finer banjo playing. Eddie Peabody in Blaze Away. That is Eddie Peabody's first record. Number DB661. Another new record by him has just been issued. It is quite as astonishing. Next, the musical comedy star, Vinnie Hale who is now appearing in the new London Hippodrome production, Bo Bells. You forgot your gloves. You forgot your gloves when you kissed me and said goodnight. Now I brought them, you see, but don't thank me, it's quite <laughs> all right. Vinnie Hale's Columbia record is number DB698 at half a crown. If there is one air that is likely to become a classic, it is You Are My Heart's Delight. And played as a cinema organ solo by Quentin MacLean, we believe it to be the best recording of its kind. That record is Columbia number DB703. Now, you'll hardly need any introduction to this jolly tune. It is Smile, Darn You Smile. And the singers are the big four. Darn You Smile, you know this old man is a great world after all. the big four on Columbia number DB 699. Now as a final selection allow me to present a recording made by De Bruyne Summers and his band just before he left for South Africa. It is the fourth in their series of stealing through the classics and this record introduces no fewer than 18 famous overtures. This number DX310 and you are welcome to hear it in full. This invitation applies equally to any of the other new Columbia records. There are some 50 of them this month and their quality may be judged by the extracts you have just heard. Remember, not only have Columbia records been reduced in price, but they are still the records without scratch and wear longer than any other make. Please ask for this month's list. 
It is free, and you are specially invited to hear any of the records without obligation. Well, he was certainly right there. There are, is no scratch on this record. Now compare it with the HMV ones I've done of exactly the same period, and these are far superior in surface, or lacking in surface noise. Wonderful. Thank you viewers and goodbye. <laughs>